Hi, you know me, so I don't have to introduce myself. All my friends out there, you know, people always say, um, um, I eat healthy, I look healthy. Okay, fast food is not the way, so I'm going to show you something very quick, which um, for you and your children, it saves a lot of money. In, um, and I'm a master of food therapy, by the way. I understand in the yin and yangs and the food property, the constitutions and the properties of food, of food therapy. Okay, so first of all, um, I can't stand breast. It just, it just doesn't do, that, do nothing for me. I eat legs, wings and whatever, but there is a way. I learned, I've learned many techniques, so um, I've made one or two things here. I'm going to show you simply how to do it to make a breast or chicken um, nicer and more versatile. This is why I look up the, the Chinese taught me this, is to shave. Okay, let me show you quick. Quickly. And this, what I'm doing, okay, this, what I'm doing, can be, can be used as any kind of meal, especially in sandwiches, rather than buy this packet stuff. Um, if it's fresh, even if you keep, do so much of it, cook some breast, or even if you got a chicken and you've taken all the, you know, the parts you've eaten off the chicken, you can actually, I'll show you at another time, how to shave everything off the chicken, okay, For, right to the bone, okay. This actually releases the flavor, the flavor and the, and the proteins um, from the chicken, okay? So you can actually do this, right, to whatever density you wish. And really, it's um, just, just there with me one second, just so I can just, it takes seconds, actually. And I mean, it's easier when it's on the bone as well. But uh, it's better than McDonald's. I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know why. By the time you put a breast on, I don't need I don't need that shit anyway. But by the time you put a breast on and cook it, this was done in a on a George Benson, a George M. Foreman grill. Then take two minutes. I mean, I I'll show you what I've done now. Okay, that's nothing. Can you just I don't I don't I don't shave it down too much, but it's easy for the kids to digest. Um, it's nice to mix with things. You know, you can you can do more with it. Um, what you don't use, once you donate, you can put in a sealed, sealed box. So basically, okay, let me just show you. I shave my go to both that. So say we done that, right? Okay, say we done that. Yeah, just do that. Right, you can make this into a meal. Say for instance, you can put salad around it, put other dressings around it. So I'll show you something I've done. But um, this is a salad I've done. Right, corn. It's warming to the body, okay? Warming. For the proteins, red cabbage, very good tonic for the digestive system. Peppers, very good for the, en the enzymes. This is a, the red peppers. Um, what else is in there? Spring onions, that's more warming. So in the winter, you, you don't want to eat too many vegetables which are making the body too cold because you feel, the, you feel the, 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 the cold weather too much. And um, what else have I got in there? Celery for the liver, which is cooling to the liver. I'll purify the liver. Um, this is what I've been specializing in for years. Um, I think you've all heard, I've got a book, which I'm gonna be releasing. So, my friend now, actually, my friend haven't been well, but a lot on the a thing, and I've known this, um, most of my friends I've known for years, and if, if I can help them, or point them in the right direction, I will, so look. So if we do this, for instance, right? Okay, whatever, de whatever density you want, and then obviously you, you can add or put on the plate separate. You know, and you want to try and get the you want to try and get the balance and don't stir your stuff and make it mushy. I like food with a bit of bite in, okay? So I don't like to outbalance. It's all about the balance, yeah? So sometimes your chicken can overpower the your chicken can overpower your chicken can overpower the vegetables and vice versa. Okay? So I think that was too breasty, and I've done something that I'm gonna show you. So rather than just, just do it, you know, add it as you go, obviously. Um, sorry about the, the boy in the hood thing, but I've been out training. So sometimes I'm very um, casual training dress, but food is very important. Very, very important. And, and it's sad really to see how many children, the length of time I've done this, and your children, you're taking them to McDonald's, You've actually, you've actually produced a, a nice meal, and uh, 
I know you can slap the breast in, just all in a, in a sandwich, but um, and this way actually, actually, this this method you eat more, and if they, and, and it's a good way for your children to actually. Um, it's a good way for your children to actually start eating vegetables because a lot of the ch whoops, a lot of the children today, you know, a little bit of white vinegar, I put some mine just a touch, just a touch, just a touch. And by the way, I never, never eat mayonnaise. Oh, no, it's not fat meal, but let me tell you a secret about mayonnaise. It's got, it actually holds onto the, the water in the body. Really, check me, no good. No good. A little touch of salad cream, I think goes a long way, but that's particularly, so this is what we have then. So you can use this as sandwiches, yeah? Very nice, add whatever your flavors to it, or, or you can actually, you know, add it and add things to it. Eat it, eat it as a, eat it as a, a, a meal to, or whatever you want. I mean, just that little bit there, there's loads, okay? There's loads there and you can add whatever to it. Um, on its own, you don't want to put beetroot inside anything like that. Better to put it on, otherwise it'll take the, it will take the, um, it will take the umph away from it. So, or you could use it for sandwiches. Okay, uh, this is a good all round meal, healthy protein. Okay, a little bit of thing. So, sorry about the mess. So, say that's it. You want to use that for sandwiches? Excuse me, madam. And then voila, here we go. Look at this. Now, this one here, this one here I've done. I've just done this now before I've done this. This is a mushroom broiled, and it's also steeped in um, herbs like thyme and everything to give it more taste. I actually um, done it in boiled in scalding hot water, just dipped it in quick so, sea salt with salt, sea salt with vinegar in the, in the water. And then put um, a little bit of a um, special herb thing I, I, I put in the water. Let it steep in there for slightly. So look, I got beetroot there. But this can actually look. Everything here is separated. Sorry. Job done, watch, watch. Mm -hmm. So. There's a beautiful mushroom. Really separate. If you want to leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can do whatever you want with it. And, um, do a nice healthy meal. Nice bit of crusty bread or something. You know, you can add other things to that. Maybe tomatoes, whatever. But anyway. Um, I hope that, um, inspires you, inspires you to do something really simple for you and the children. I'm being serious with you now. You are what you eat. And your food is your medicine. The right foods and combined, combined together and understanding the properties, which, which I'm, I'm going to be releasing, releasing the book now, hopefully, thank God, but uh, it's very important. And if you look at the modern children now, and even people of my generation, you look at the, my, my grandfather's in this country lived 107, 109. My nana's outlived. These people was in the war. So why are we all becoming sick? Tell you why. This is it. So stop your laziness. It's easy for teacher kids this. So by the time you jump in the car, say petrol, job done. Peace. I hope this helps you all in the future. I will do more for you. So if you don't mind, um, I got a friend there, they don't like being seen on camera, right? So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is, it's gonna go behind the camera now. Tell me what you think that is. How, how tasty is that? Oh nice. Say, out of what, 10 out of 10? What is 10 it? 10 out of 10. 10, thank you. Are you gonna eat this now? Mm. Thank you. You leave some for me though. <laughs> <laughs>